Hello everyone. Welcome to Shruti's Pharma World. Today I'm going to talk about cyclone separator. This is a small presentation including the principle construction working of this size separation equipment that is our cyclone separator. So this is our cyclone separator and the cyclone separator consists of a short vertical cylindrical vessel with a conical base. Here you can see the conical base and it consists of a tangential inlet which is present at the upper part of the separator and central top portion consists of a fluid outlet. This fluid outlet is for escaping the air. Here the solid suspended air stream is introduced through this tangential inlet into the cyclone separator. In the short circuiting of air directly from the tangential inlet into the fluid outlet is prevented by using this arrangement. So that's why the fluid outlet is protruded into the cyclone separator. So this is a simple explanation regarding cyclone separator. Now let's see what is the principle behind this equipment. In the cyclone separator, the driving force for the separation is centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is used to separate solids from fluids. Okay, solid suspended air stream is introduced through the tangential inlet into the cyclone separator. So that air stream that uh, follow a helical path inside the cyclone separator. Because of that, uh, centrifugal force and vortex will be formed inside the separator. The solids that is present in the air stream that thrown against the wall of the cyclone separator. Uh, as the air velocity diminishes, uh, the solid particles uh, settle at the bottom of the conical base and we can collect that uh, solid particles through the solid outlet. So this is a simple principle that is involved in cyclone separator. Here, the driving force uh, for the separation is centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is act as the driving force. Depending upon the particle size and density, separation occurs. So, this is the principle. Now, move on to the construction part of cyclone separator. As I already said that, the cyclone separator consists of a short vertical cylindrical vessel with a conical base. So this is our conical base and the cyclone separator consists of a short vertical cylindrical vessel. Tangential inlet is switched at the upper part of the vessel. Here you can see tangential inlet and a fluid outlet is present at the top central portion of the cyclone separator. Fluid outlet protrude into the cyclone separator and this arrangement helps to, to prevent the air short circuiting directly from the tangential inlet to the fluid outlet. Okay, this arrangement. Actually, here you can see our fluid outlet is protruded into the separator. Why this fluid outlet is protruded into the separator? You know the reason? Because of this arrangement, uh, air short circuiting directly from the tangential inlet into the fluid outlet is prevented. And because of this arrangement, uh, the air stream, the solid suspended air stream uh, that follow helical path and because of that centrifugal force and vortex will be formed inside the separator. So that is the reason for the separation of the solid from the air stream. Now move on to the working of cyclone separator. Uh, first of all, uh, the solids to be size separated is introduced into an air stream. Okay, now we have solid suspended air stream. Then you have to introduce the solid suspended air stream through this tangential inlet into the cyclone separator. So the solid suspended air stream introduced through this tangential inlet at a very high velocity. Here you can see our fluid outlet. This fluid outlet is protruded into the cyclone separator. Uh, this arrangement prevents the short circuiting of air directly from the tangential inlet into the uh, fluid outlet. 
okay so the solid suspended air stream that follow a helical path in the separator uh, because of that centrifugal force and vortex will be so that centrifugal force and vortex that throws the materials towards the container wall and finally that solid uh, will deposit at the bottom of the conical base and we can collect that solid material through the solid outlet and the air velocity then decreases and that air passes through the fluid outlet that air can escape through this fluid outlet so this is the simple working procedure that is involved in the uh, cyclone separator so in this presentation we have covered the principle construction and working of cyclone separator and thank you for watching